Hello everybody, welcome to the show. This is Bruce. Uh, Benny is playing catch up today. He is uh, in, uh, well he's close by. Um, he's actually, uh, he's got his hands full, you know, with a lot of, um, a lot of circumstances that, uh, you know, surround the show and give it rise uh, to the audience which expects it. So he, uh, he, he says he will be with you uh, at heart. And uh, he gives his condolences for anybody who would have missed his uh, his introductions alongside of mine today. Welcome to the show, everyone. This is Bruce. Uh, today's topic is uh, books. And, uh, you know, as it turns out, a lot of people actually uh, did read books. Um, it's actually one of the most interesting implications of technology, only because people used it, uh, you know, the minute it was invented. In fact, they used it to advertise it. Um, as uh, it were, you know, the book or words, actually, pu publication is what I mean to say, you know, press, you know, uh, enabled certain freedoms, I think, enabled people to, uh, enabled them to think tank, you know, enabled them, you know, to clearly express themselves as individuals, right? To set, them side, to set themselves apart from society and, and prove a point, you know, and make society better. But, you know, I guess there comes a time with any technology where it gets old. Right? Wrong! Still need books. It might be old, but it's still kicking, you know? You can teach a dog new tricks in this regard. Only because of its importance. You know, if you really respect it as a technology and not an article. You know, you should never judge a book by the cover, but you should admire the cover. You know? I think books are a funny thing because, you know, as the pages turn, the, the story develops. You know, the words are all there, right? That's the problem. You know, we expect the book to look like a book. We expect the book to be what it is, to be preconceived, but it's not. You know, how many people out there, you know, um, derive uh, knowledge from books, you know? Lots of people that, 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 that we don't amount to, you know, that, that, that we don't um, consider ourselves to be, you know, but we do in the background, you know, in, in, in the scheme of it all. You know, we are that person, we are also the observer, you know, and, and as such, we become the reader, don't we? Along the lines of the book, somewhere in the middle of the book where the crescendo should have started, you know, could have ended, but it didn't and we kept reading, right? I don't think any writer really sits to themselves and says, you know, I want to write something that somebody's not going to read anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't say to themselves, this book will only last 10 years. They can't. You can't put label on something that isn't food you know you can't put a date on something that you don't take with you you know it's gonna be there forever and that's it that's the bottom line that's what that's all really words are you know but what is the book you know is it definition isn't some kind of encapsulated property you know of, of mechanics a dynamic effect of something that fluctuates you know ideas back and forth without you know behind our backs right under our noses you know Maybe the books are in cahoots. I mean, aren't they all words? This isn't all communication? I don't know. Maybe I'm going out on the limb here. But I'm waiting for the next book to break. You want to know why? Because a book always has something to talk about. A book always has meaning, is my point. You know, you could take the worst book in the world. The worst book in the world. And what I mean by that is something that really wasn't, you know, not, not a lot of time was put into it. You could take that book, and at the very least, guess what? You didn't forget your umbrella, you know? Camouflages you from the rain, doesn't it? You know, you can scan through the pages when you get home to make sure, you know, most of the book is still dry and intact, right? It's got function, you know, but that's the epitome. You know, what are the antics about a useless book, you know? What's the bottom line there? There isn't one, at least to everybody. You know, at very least, at the very least, the writer could add more to that book. I mean, what, what, what's to stop the original from from proceeding, from going on and living longer than all the carbon copies out there? What happens in that regard? It never did. But if it did, what would happen, right? Carbon copies would play catch up, wouldn't they? Maybe not in those books, maybe not in so many words, you know, maybe, maybe in, along the lines of something different, something between the lines, you know, maybe, maybe other books would, would, would indicate the rest of the meaning, you know, and I don't know, everything comes to an end, this too shall pass, but you know what? 
trees fall. That's how I know they make noise, you know? Words amount to something. The word meant something to me, you know, as a writer, as an observer. As a doer of the word and not a hearer only, I am a reader, right? Wrong. I'm an observer. At least that's what the book is counting on. But that's a conflict, isn't it? Because the writer has to decipher, you know, between the observer and the reader. You know, to formulate an ending in the beginning if he's weave weaving this tangled web, right? But if he's not, you know, you take a writer, right? Let's back up. Let, let's, let's take five. You take a writer and you sit them down at the desk and you, you know, maybe, I don't know, some, some kind of room or space, right? And then you give him a piece of paper and a pencil. What does he do? He looks right at you in the eyes, you know, begging you to ask him what to write, you know, because he's so good at formulating the plot. All he's got to do is give you the go ahead. You take the first step. Guess what? Guess how it all ends? His last step. You know, only the best writer didn't know that. Why I do radio? Oh, right, audience, pendulum. You know, famous pendulum experiment. Take another five. This guy ties a pencil to a giant pendulum in his office, right? What happens as the pendulum swings back and forth when no one's looking? The marks, like a ladder, like Jacob's ladder, right? Tack, tack, tack. All of a sudden, he knows something's going on. He's proven his point already. Before anybody saw it, you know? After he thought it was a good idea. So why does why why does a book surprise us every time it presents us with a good idea? We say to ourselves, we're not ready for this idea. We're not ready to believe in this concept. It doesn't matter if it's printed or not. You know, I've seen the picture. I know what a lie can be, right? What's to stop ourselves from saying to other people, you know what, this is false. And what if that's a bad idea? But I think books make a clear distinction along those th those lines, you know? They, they make clear distinctions, you know, about uncertain terms and with uncertainty, you know? And line it all up so you can knock it all down like the pins, you know, at a bowling alley, right? That's how the angels do when it storms, you know? Games. Radio, TV, but the book still, right? Taking everybody by surprise again. Whoa. Wrong. Hasn't happened yet. The best book will never be written. As in any new technology, any great technology, the best example of it will always be the concept, the original concept, held by everyone who it affected. All right, I'm leaving you with that. Uh, Benny is uh, doing something uh, else, and uh, he can't say goodbye. What he's uh, what what he is uh, assigned to himself is the job as um, analyst. Apparently, he's going to uh, take the form of some kind of uh, expert accountant and uh, amount to all the sense that you guys are making. So he wants you to he wants you to feel encouraged to comment below and uh, you know leave anything. I don't care. Ball sleep on the keyboard and. Uh, don't forget to press enter whenever you wake up, you know, whatever, we, can, we, we need something guys, you know, this show is you too, peace.